Okay, um, so I just, because of course Creative Assembly recently gave us all the Emperor's Edition for free for Rome 2, I decided, you know, I might as well do a very short Let's Play on this Imperator Augustus campaign, I believe it's called that. Um, would make sense because it was uh, Emperor Augustus, o Augustus Octavian Caesar. But, um, yeah, um, you see, for me, the most fascinating thing about Roman history is not their conquest of the empire, it's the politics. Um, the way that through Caesar it went from a republic to an empire. You know, the way that Julius Caesar outsmarted and manipulated the republic, um, and, you know, Pompey and everyone and he kept Brutus and everyone under control. Then, of course, how Brutus and Cassius and Cicero plotted against Caesar, uh, Julius Caesar, thought they got him, thought that uh, the Republic was restored, and then, of course, Octavian came in, and uh, he just outsmarted everyone. So here's a nice little intro thing. You are my son, but I've done all I can to protect you. The gods smile on you, Octavian. You're a good soldier. I'm a politician. We don't need more politicians. It's not more speeches in the Senate that will change the world. Rome is dying. Why do you think Caesar favored you so? I was loyal. No, Octavian. He saw in you the potential to continue his legacy. Not to follow him, but to exceed him. Antony cannot be trusted. His heart lies in Egypt. We must confront the reality that civil war is inevitable. And how will bloodshed save the people of Rome? You are not meant to save them. You are meant to lead them. All men are troubled when their moment has come. I am not Caesar. I don't have his strength. The people loved him, and they will love you. You can't think like an ordinary man. You must reach beyond mortal ambition and do what has never been done. Survive, my son. Rome must have a master. So a lovely intro cinematic there, but uh, I'm going to try and play as historically accurate as I can, as is possible. Of course it's a game, so it's unlikely to be 100% or even 50%, but I'm going to try. Now you have the chance to surpass the exploits of your glorious predecessor. Alliance with Mark Antony and Lepidus, however tenuous, gives you the space to protect and extend your domains. Once again, your Gaulish friends are menaced by migratory Germans. Defeat them, and take the chance to conquer their lands for Rome's glory. Also, pay heed to Pompey, the son of your father's enemy, whose fleet continues to menace your coast. Remember, however, that your ultimate goal is leadership of the Republic. When relations break down, this must be your focus to the exclusion of all else. Seize your birthright. Seize the day. So, yeah, um, I'm going to try and play as historically accurate as I can. Anyway, I, I you know, my, my two favourite Romans, actually no, my two favourite Roman politicians were Julius Caesar and Octavian Caesar, um, or Augustus. They were good politicians, they over-glorified their military exploits, neither of them were really great strategists, they just made out they were, but um, they were good politicians, and that you got you got you can't not admire them from the way that they just literally owned <laughs> pretty much the Republic. Um, well, Caesar owned Pompey, and, you know, took over the Republic as dictator, then tried to rule it, but people called him a tyrant, Brutus, Cicero, and Cassius. Uh, as well as Pompey's son, whatever his name was, uh, of course, murdered uh, Caesar, thought they'd restored the Republic, then Octavian came in, and he defeated them in a war, and the, with an 
alliance, wink wink, with um, Mark Antony and um, Lepidus. And then, of course, he backstabbed them and became the first Roman, you know, real Roman emperor, the, the one that continued his legacy for ages. Um, okay, so my first objective is to completely control ten provinces. Okay, seems good. So, first of all, we'll choose a technology. So, we've already got a number of military tech. Uh, hang on, let's just see what my income is. Okay, um... Tax is my main source of income. I, I'm, I'm, I do intend to change that, but first of all, we of course... I don't know, I'm gonna go for military first. I mean, I, I know my ICD campaign I went for the more economic side of things first. I'm gonna go uh, military first for this time, because, um... You know, I really need to... I'm just gonna quickly see what these all do. And before you ask, no, I haven't played this expansion yet. <laughs> yeah, I really need to expand quick, so management is always helpful. Not too bothered about my navy, if I'm honest. Alright, let's go for those. It's more about the upkeep costs, which are my biggest uh, expense at the moment. Um, okay, well, this screen here is annoying, bottom left. Uh, okay, so we'll start with some diplomacy. Um, right, Antony seems to hate me. Let's Greetings talk to in him. The name of the state and so forth. Now, what do you want? We are defensive allies. Um, they, he doesn't want a trade agreement. Okay, um, I'm trying to keep him happy for now until I can backstab him. Alright, apparently we are already all in alliances, which does, well, defensive alliances, which makes things very easy for me. But we all hate each other. Me, uh, I'm, I'm Octavian. There's also um, Mark Antony and Lepidus, so we're on a triple alliance, just like real life. Okay. So, Antony is already at war with a lot of the eastern tribes. Okay, it doesn't look like we're going to be doing too much, uh, too much diplomacy. So Pompey seems to own a lot of the Mediterranean Isles. How strong is he? Uh, okay. Come then, speak. The people will consider what I hear, but you must speak. I'm just going to check how much land they have, because um, I, I may want to invade them as soon as I've mobilized my armies, of course. Uh, you can't trade land on this, can you? No, okay. Um, so as you can see, I'm not used to playing Rome 2 at the moment. Um, been busy. In that case, Pompey, Pompey, Pompey. Alright, um, we'll leave that for now. We're going to mobilize our forces, and we are, instead of going north, as the AI suggested, going to immediately try and wipe out Pompey, uh, along with my good friends, um, what's their names? Mark Antony and Lepidus. So, armies. Uh, forces, perfect. Okay, you're not very helpful. Uh, ships will be helpful, but, uh, uh, alright, I'm gonna, s uh, in fact, let's scout out this place. Oh, they're not, they're quite lightly defended. 
So if we take out Corsica right at the start of the game. Wait. What the hell are you doing all the way over here? I hope the you know, the ghouls don't declare war on me. I'm expecting them not to. But um I really I all right, I'm going to move you down there. Um and this army is actually going to come down to Sardinia. I sorry, I don't expect um Pompey to be able to counterattack very easily, which is why I am likely defending. Um, I, the only problem I have with Rome is you can't just build up forces to garrison like you can on the other games, uh, which creates problems. Anyway, already we're going to end turn.